moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. Are you noticing the acceleration? It's coming out of all corners of the cosmos. <laughs> The most visual you may notice or have noticed is the one, if you're in the North Hemisphere, that everything blooms about a month earlier. I was just going by a bush and that's a peony and that's to flower end of May and now we got middle of April and not that I didn't notice things growing beforehand, but why is that happening? Hello everyone, I'm Mylene Elke, your host of the Moving to Oneness podcast, today with the sponsor Magic Mind, the liquid, the green one, that keeps your flow accelerated. Yeah, the cosmic energies have changed, you have noticed that. It started already early March, you could see things come out of the earth quicker, the bear lauch, no, I don't know the English word, came out earlier, roses sprouted. Now I'm in Bavaria. The fruit trees are blooming already. Normally that is a flush at Father's Day, also in May. Then the peonies, peony, that's a better word, they're blooming. I just walk on my stroll through the neighborhood a past a beautifully flowering bush, pink, purple, red. Wow, what a color. And that bush is normally not set to bloom until end of May. We always normally have vacation around that time where they flower, and that's still ways ahead. So what have you noticed? What plants are out there in maybe in your garden that are growing? And you may have asked yourself, it's a sign of change, right? It's a sign of change that you may feel, but not, you are observing now, but nature is feeling it. It's not that the sun is longer shining than usually at this time of year in spring, but what is it? Did it rain more? Maybe, but you may have noticed it's everywhere. <laughs> It's faster around the world, again, on the North Hemisphere. I don't know what's happening on the North, uh, on the South side. I would love to hear back from you. Do let us know if you notice there a quicker dropping of leaves, maybe. Is everything just skipping a month? Yeah, did the Earth tip a little bit, the magnetic field, or is it really the energy is coming from the cosmos the light is more brilliant pure and nature is reacting to it but that means if nature is reacting to it how are you acting or reacting to it so you should feel growth maybe observe your nails your hair the children are they growing faster it's a little bit too bit of span to look right <laughs> But my house plants, I can watch it. I did a test. A plant now that is five years old, I think two fifths have grown just in the last three months, and it's fuller, bigger leaves. The interval has of the sprouting has moved faster, and more dense. And the roses are ahead. I mean, I could. On. But that's showing me something. So, you know, it's not in my mind. So where have you felt change? And again, going to the solar eclipse on a new moon, it was like a restart. Restart button for yourself. Have you maybe noticed that you're purging things on your computer, in your household, in your creativity, in your clothing? 
right? Are you really noticing you changed the way you eat? Or I should say what you eat or what you cook, but also your response of your body to the food, maybe to cosmetics that your body tells you in more extremes or more obvious that it doesn't want a certain certain things. <laughs> That's TH sometimes <laughs> in the English language. So I'm observing that in myself too, that um, the household wants to be purged, things moved out, cleansed more precisely than ever before. Same happening in organizing things in the computer, paperwork, movement to stay fit. I know I've spoken a lot about these things that it is timely now that you and me as become fit so we can become even more who we are, that you can become more who you are, what your purpose here on earth. And I think nature is showing it now to us. It's, so it's not something we can just push aside because we thought, oh, I just thought that. Can't take that too serious. That's again a crazy idea. <laughs> right? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> take a notice in your life. Again, it is funny in a way, but why is it happening? Why is it happening? What are you getting ready for? What is this earth getting ready for? What is the cosmos getting ready for? Purity, yes. Us becoming more compact comes. Ooh, compact. So not that only our cells go into the rhythm that is good for us, right? That we have less accidents, that we feel less pain, that we hurt ourselves less. We open up in a relationship. You may notice that it's more difficult not to speak the truth. <laughs> it may slip out of you more often. So oh, it's like in a car, right? You, What you think comes out, there's even there this acceleration of, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have the word in German at the moment or in English to say what I, there's a verb for it. And also that you'll find people react different to your words, what you're saying. Do you notice it coming out a little bit more lovely with more compassion? Yeah. It's not any more so rigid. So it becomes more and more easy for you to even speak more out your truth. You may have noticed that your voice is changing. It's for women, it's the voice is dropping a little bit. For men, it's getting fuller. There's more air can be taken in. Observe that in your partner, in yourself, in your colleagues, in your children. Ooh. Be really in tune and listen what your children speak out now, right? They're not inventing. They're very fine-tuned to the cosmic light energy, right? Is it the frequency of light? So they're still so connected to to the non-material where we create and and to the one mind they're connected to the one thought, the one light. Right? So they can translate that really quickly, very directly, as you're noticing that for yourself. And you're noticing maybe it's not happening so much than something like a magic mind for sure, right? Supporting you by plant medicine, plant material, plant juices to become the optimal. Going into that conversation by eating it, by drinking it. It's the cloth in the greenness, right? If you look outside already, all these different greens, I should say in my area, <laughs> it's very lush, it looks maybe a little different if you're somewhere up in the mountains still now, there may be still snow or you're in a desert and it may be a little different. 
But what are you drinking and eating? We were talking about that medicine to accelerate, that accelerates your life, keeps you more alert, important, that you have more endurance in keeping focus, keeping your creative juices going, right? Like with the 12 ingredients of magic mind. And it's like a little shot. And that is in a lot of things. We just need a little bit to eat, a little bit to remaneuver, a little bit to fine tune. One degree is enough, a half a degree, two degrees. How do you feel better? What clothing are you putting on that feels like medicine for yourself? Not what is being presented by the shops or the designers of the world, they chose that. If you think about it a few years ago, unless they were really in tune, but they could not sense what was coming. Maybe some did. I bet some did as, you know, some of us very in tune, empathic people are in, in every field. They could sense it, but now we're feeling it. So now really take the time again, I ask you, to look on what clothing and what colors that they fit with you, that they in tune with you, that they enliven you. So you can do more of exactly what I started with, decluttering. Um, when you're out, maybe you also notice there's more time needed to be with people. This is extremely coming. And also that people you really have been close with may appear back into your life to take back on the communication. There's still things to be created together, to be exchanged together. And my cat is me yelling exactly in this moment, saying yes, 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 yes. Uh, observe or write down maybe what topics you're, you're talking about. Take note. It's going to be important for you. Wow. Yeah. And then the rest comes too. Now we cannot just, you know, reorganize. But when you sit in the sun, the thoughts that come, act on them later. Don't push them aside. It's really important now not to to follow an older pattern where you maybe have not believed in your own intuition, in your own thought that really came from your enlightened heart, right from your heart, and not always, as it said, uh, from an ego no, or an intellectual mind. You already speak so often from the connection to the one and feel that everything is connected to you, to support you as you support everything else. This interplay. So the medicine nowadays is this interplay with extreme intention, harmony, balance. If it doesn't feel in harmony, balance, make a nice, beautiful goodbye, say a goodbye, maybe do a little ritual to... to um, a separate of something, right, with dedication. And if it's for something, become courageous to do more of it. Become courageous to follow it. Courageous to be you. To bring out what you are to bring out. To shine out. So people can recognize it, can approach you, can ask you about it. It will give you again more information about yourself. Follow your inner passion. What is your purpose here on earth? Right? And for many of them, I just saw this beautiful movie, sometimes it is too much. And too many young people want to say goodbye. But it is our time now to come out and be a haven where they can come and communicate with us. We have to step in to the women, the wise women that have information. Are we to step in as the wise man to provide information for the young men? That they don't feel alone, especially in the shift that is happening. This change, and it's for many, 
an unusual change, an unusual experience. Everyone can feel that little excitement, that little mm, couple, <laughs> you know, almost like the goosebumps if they think about the future, that there's something coming we can't put a finger on now, but we know it's going to be a beautiful change at the end. Like with everything that is unraveling, it may be a little turbulent in the meantime. So for you to stay calm in this accelerated way of being, the accelerated way of experience, and an accelerated way of growing, and becoming who you are, and observing and holding space for others, to, for them to become who they are, right? A lot of patience is needed. Again, for your partner, family, colleagues, children, yourself, yourself especially. And observe and fine tune. That's what I ask. Here's a song for you. When I haven't sung yet, but I'm happy for every being, for any society, for any star nation, for any culture coming together, for us to become who we are, for you to become who you are, to live it, to shine it out into the world, and the same for me. Have a wonderful day, evening, and feel embraced. And enjoy this excitement of accelerated growth, flow, light, <laughs> sound, movement, whatever you want to call it. And there may be many different ones. And birds are singing outside. I have the door open. To let that air in. So open up your windows and your doors. Be outside a lot. This is coming too. Really let yourself be supported by everything. Nature, water, the birds, the stones, the sun, spirits, so much more. Thank you for listening. I'm Eileen Alki, your host of the Moving to Oneness podcast, and thanks to the sponsor Magic Mind by providing such a beautiful, liquid, green, fresh, to support me, to support you, to support us, and being our best, and being full of speed in creating what needs to be created. Goodbye.